Welcome to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. We're going to talk today about the Air Hogs Helix, the four channel Havoc Heli that everybody's been waiting for. Now, Air Hogs has been real busy this year. It's 2010, so they've given us some great RC aircraft. We've got the Osprey, we've got the Hawkeye with a camera, we've got ones that launch missiles, and now you've got a fully functional four channel Havoc Heli. So, four channels of joy. So a fully functional four channel Havoc Heli. It's what everybody's been asking for, for so long. And you know, I've been doing a lot of testing with it or playing with it. And I've got to say, I've had a lot of fun with this aircraft. Although it is infrared controlled, unfortunately, it really is precise. It's really quick, it's really fast. It's a lighter infrared receiver. It uses less power, it's lower cost, which translates to an RC helicopter for the basic consumer. Instead of spending over $100 for your first four-channel RC helicopter, you can get one like this for $79.99. Now, I realize it's not 2.4 gigahertz and you can't really fly it too terribly far away from yourself, but this is really meant for indoor flying. This is meant for the new pilots out there that haven't flown anything four channels and are looking for something inexpensive to start with. So let's go ahead and give you a little demonstration of what all it can do. Okay, let's show you the mechanics here. First off, you've got your uh, forward and your reverse and your left and your right controlled by, there's a small round collar that fits onto the bottom of the rotor. There's four pins that push it in all four directions. That's how you get your forward, your reverse, your left, and your right flight. Now the tail motor is mounted inside the tail boom as opposed to being mounted sideways, which actually makes it sleeker. It makes it a little more balanced. If you're wondering what these are on the side, I believe they are weights to actually counteract the amount of weight that the 11 screws on this side holding the plastic canopy together adds. Now this helicopter does slowly drift forward like most RC Havocellis do, and that's more to give the beginning pilot the chance to learn how to turn it and how to control your thrust. So with your first flights, if this is your first four channel helicopter, everything you're going to do is going to be on this stick. Here. Your thrust up, your thrust down, your spin right, and your spin left. You're going to want to keep your hands off the right stick until you know what it does. Now I know a lot of you are going to just want to take this and launch it out of your hand and start flying, but remember this is a four channel RC helicopter. This isn't like all the other Havoc Helis you've flown before. The left stick controls both the up and down and the spin left and right. The right stick controls your left and right drift and your forward and reverse motion. So your first few flights, if this is your first four channel RC helicopter, you're going to want to concentrate on the left stick. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little flight demonstration here. Now there's only one thing that you can trim on this RC helicopter, and that is spin, like most Havoc Helis. It's got a small knob right in the center of the transmitter that you can spin to stop it from spinning. If you're going to trim anything else on the helicopter, you need to use a small amount of weight. Now I like to take a small piece of clay and stick it on the rear of the helicopter. The further back it is, the less you have to use. And that actually equals out the weight so that instead of slowly moving forward, it likes to sit in a nice stable hover. Now for beginner pilots, don't do this until you've got the hang of it, but let's see what we can do. And it's properly weighted. Now that's hands free flight right there. I mean that's 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 really really stable when it comes to a single rotor four channel RC helicopter. To be able to just let your hands off the controls and let it just hover hands free, and then go right back into flight. Watch those edges there. So you can see that with this Havoc Heli, I've actually got the ability to control where it goes. It's spin in place. I can fly in reverse. I can fly forward. I can drift left. 
And I can drift right. I have to say this aircraft is just a lot of fun to fly. I've been testing it out over the past couple of days and I've just really, really enjoyed it. It's just so precise. It's so easy to fly. It's so much fun. And there's just so much that you can do with this RC helicopter that you just couldn't do with any of your other Havocs. Precision landings, precision flight, that's what 4 channels is all about. And this is a great introduction into 4 channel RC helicopters. I think if you're looking for a good inexpensive 4 channel RC helicopter to learn some of the basics with, this one's a good starter. I understand it's infrared control and I understand a lot of people aren't going to be happy about that, but you actually do get longer flight times. You get a uh, you actually do get longer flight times, there's less power used, it's lower cost than an RC receiver. That's something you can't do with a two-channel RC helicopter. Now it does come with what's called a headlight. You may be able to see it. Got a nice little blue light right there that we can turn on and off with the transmitter. But it's not very bright and it's more there. It's more for show than anything else. Well, that's a lot of fun. Now, when it comes to uh, flight times, this thing is above and beyond any Havoc Heli I've ever flown. It flies for 8 to 10 minutes straight, and it only charges in about 35 minutes. And the best thing is it only uses 4 AA batteries to recharge, as opposed to the standard 6. 
I mean, it's really a nice little RC helicopter to have on your bed table. And just pull out, fly it before you go to bed, charge it, and you're done. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. You can walk into your store, pick it up, it's ready to fly right out the box. I understand people's complaints with infrared, but in the future you're going to start seeing more and more 2.4 gigahertz RC helicopters, but this is the first fully functional four channel Heavy Kelly out on the market. It all started way back in 2006 with the Pixeletto, designed by Alexander the Belgian engineer. Now you're not going to be able to replace these main rotors, uh, it doesn't come with a spare set of rotors, but I've never really broken a set of these uh, Air Hogs rotors before, so I wouldn't really worry about that. It does come with two spare tail blades, and it does charge off the transmitter. And it charges in about, like I said, 35 minutes, and I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Can't really say enough about it. I do appreciate you watching RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. Tune in for more fun aircraft reviews.